What's up guys, Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we are back with some more LEGO Movie 2 video game. This happens to be part of the Galactic Adventures DLC, and this is one of the three levels available. Queen's Palace Free Room! That's right, the Galactic Explorer system is now available to you, at least it should be, as free DLC. Want to give a shout out to Warner Brothers for teasing us with early access to this, but also providing us with a copy of this game. And I do want to just go ahead and point out that we do have quick links down below in the video description so please check those out if you're looking for a specific brick now uh when you load back in once the update has happened you'll see that some additional content has been added go ahead and toggle down and you'll see that there's the queen's palace rick celsior and disharmony city available for your gaming pleasure now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the queen's palace first and uh it actually starts off with a couple of cutscenes. so let's go ahead and jump right in General Mayhem, personal log. There was nothing I enjoyed more than a mission going exactly to plan. And the next asteroid, take a right. Unfortunately, this was not one of those missions. Apparently, the Queen was unhappy with how plans for the ceremony were progressing. It seemed that my aid would be required. Luckily, my extensive training included a course in event planning. A jetpack, now we're talking. Using this, we should be able to get around the world much more quickly and funly. So yes, this free roam is a little bit different. Not only does it offer cutscenes, but it also is giving us items that we already have. And of course, I did mess this up right here. There should have been another cutscene right here. It's a little bit longer, but watch, watch, watch. Made it. Just Whoops, push the button, got a little too excited. So there are some story elements to this free roam. We're gonna go ahead and knock those out first, and then we're gonna trudge our way around and get all of the rest of the collectibles. Speaking of collectibles, we're actually working on our first one right now. better. Marvelous. Marvelous, I say. Now, you'd better make your way to see the Queen. I'll join you just as soon as I've plucked up the courage to face her again. I couldn't keep the Queen waiting any longer. All right, after opening the door, we find that uh, the Queen is inside waiting for us, and she tasks us with finding three very specific items. But luckily for us, this game is pretty simple. It's actually going to tell us where all three of those items are. And uh, in order to get all of those items, we have to solve some other quests. So, you know, there was a little bit of talking there and I did opt to kind of leave that out. You are going to need a flying vehicle. Now I go ahead and spawn my own right here, but it should be noted that there are a couple around the upper outer ring, in fact, uh, do we fly over a couple? Yep, there's a couple right there. We're going to fly right over them right now. So make sure you grab one of those if you don't have one in your arsenal. Now, we're going to fly up to the old golden arrow. And like I said, we're going to skip grabbing the bricks that are in plain sight. If you want to grab them, you are welcome to, like the one at the top of that spaceship there. But check this out. We need to do a couple of finishing touches so that B-Man can land. Uh, we have to uh, actually drop two of these very odd looking light posts uh we'll go ahead and drop those down uh all you have to do is pull up your object builder slide over to the quest objects and it should be bouncing around go ahead and select it lay it down and he'll say woo to the who oh i need an extra one too so we'll go ahead and drop a second one over there and it says something like he'll be able to see us from eight clicks away so that being said we'll drop one more and finish this up and it should give us another quest 
Yeah, you were hoping it was going to be a brick, weren't you? Yeah, we got a little more work ahead of us before we actually collect our second masterpiece brick. But in comes the old shuttle. Perfect landing. I've never seen a shuttle land quite like that. But I guess it's space. There's not gravity and such like we have here on Earth. So maybe a little different up there. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the next guy with the bouncing yellow arrow above him. And he asks us to lay a couple. Of, actually, it's just a single sticker. This is just a singular one. So pull out your sticker gun. Go ahead and toggle over to the sticker gallery. And, of course, scroll on through. Now, depending on how much of the original game, the main game, you've completed, you may have a lot less or a lot more stickers than us. And I guess that depends on how many relics you've collected and cracked open, too, because those will often offer you some of them stickers. But, uh, all right, so we got a sticker on there. It's pretty sweet, huh? We'll go ahead and collect a blue space helmet. So the first item for the queen, as well as a purple brick. Thank you very much. All right, we've got another arrow. It is quite a ways away, but I see this alien invader heart. I'm going to go ahead and smash and watch uh, him go up and hello. Uh, really, we don't need the relic or the studs from this as we've got plenty. Although, depending on how much studage you have, you might need some. We're going to have to buy a handful of items from the store later. I guess that we don't need to. We do definitely need to buy the final brick. Just like all the other planets, there is a, a purple brick awaiting your purchase inside the store, which uh, we save for the very last one. We often buy all the items in there, too, because you needed them for the story-based bits. And uh, Cispocalypse Star, but we've already completed that, so we shouldn't need any more items. All right, we've made it to the next spot here. He's going to need us to help. Our, sh excuse me. She is going to need us to go ahead and help grow some of these plants. Now, there are five of them, I believe, that we have to find. And they're all right here on this little rock floating off to the side. It's the green area. It's all green and spring-like. So we'll go ahead and make it rain. And I don't know why, but I felt totally... Uh, <laughs> And glad to go ahead and smash my sprinkler and collect those bricks. I think that's the only time I do that. But there's two right here, right next to the quest giver. And then there's uh, another one right around the corner on the right-hand side. We saw it when the camera panned back and gave us kind of an overview of what was going. However, it was up a little bit. So let's go ahead and raise the roof of it. There it is. All right. We'll drop it off. And, of course, go back to our builder page, pull out sprinkler, and drop it like it's hot. All right. We'll make it rain, and there should be one right up top here. Well, there's one right there on the top left side, but there's also one on the far right side. Easy there. Easy there. There's, there's. It's kind of fooling you out here with that sunflower growing in the back. But there it is. It's off to the side there. We'll go ahead and drop down and jump off our nice little... I love our little space cruiser there. Or spy ship! Spy ship! I wish Benny actually said that. Whoa! A little smackaroonie from the sprinkler system there. A little bit of water pressure, I would I would guess. All right, we're going to fly up to the very top. You can see uh, in the very back corner here. I guess it's not really the corner. It's in the very back on the top ledge. You can see the final one. We'll go ahead and drop it. And luckily for us, that is, uh, I do believe that's who we need to talk to right there. Ooh, there's a chest. If you're still looking for relics and studs and bricks, oh my, go ahead and smash it down and collect it. And there you go. Once all five of those have been created you're gonna go ahead and smash the top one I, it, I think it's always the top one I could be wrong but you're gonna look for that new scepter the, the golden arrow should tell you where it is and it actually takes us right back to the quest giver and look at that See, that's why I said he because I knew that at the end I, I'm pretty sure that's a, a, a gentleman he was very kind in giving us the not only the scepter but he also kicked down with a masterpiece brick so now we get to go over to the old pirate ship her mateys. And once we go over here, we're going to find that there is a quest requiring us to use our tractor beam. And we need to manipulate this little ramp here so that people have easy access in and out or on and off, I guess. Look at that. Construction pirates. Who had ever thought of such a thing? Yes, yes, yes. We got a little excited with the button pressings. Now we're a little behind. And scene. Okay, we can go ahead and pull out our tractor beam. Go ahead and get your chirp on. Chirp, chirp. And it's kind of a funny angle. You kind of have to press, like, up and, like, left. But it's, it's weird. I, I don't know. Maybe it was different. Maybe it was down. I remember it being really backwards from what you would expect it to be. 
Eventually you'll get it, and once you do, they'll go ahead and give us access to the boat, and no brick. Although it's going to give us some guys to take care of up top, and I do believe once we complete all of these little uh, thrashings, we will find ourselves a Poipool brick. Maybe not. I think actually we have to pull out. Yeah, we ha we have to. Oh, look at that. Ye have the skills to be paying them bills. What is going on with this stuff? Whoever writes this is uh, quite funny. I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, let's see here. Let's find a way to get in. Yes, we need ourselves one of those pesky little. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. One of those guys, the micromanagers. And we'll go ahead and walk up to it, and pew, 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 opens the door, and inside we go all the way to the bottom, and we should find ourselves some more baddies. Oh, no. So go ahead and give them the old cha, 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 cha. And once we get through those numbers, we should get rewarded with another item, and ye should also find us a break. All right, look at that. Ye've earned my thanks and your share of this year, treasure. All right, so we got the old ring. Thank you very much. Oh, and a Poiple brick as well as another relic. All right, so I had a little bit of uh, thought here. I don't like to overlap things mainly due to the quick links down below in the video description. There is a purple brick down there, down under. There's also a quest right there. I am actually going to go ahead and continue the story-based stuff. So we got all three of the items for the queen, so let's go ahead and deliver it. We'll see what she has to say. Do a little dolphin diving on our way there, maybe? No. Ooh, collected some studs. Good. Got to get them all. Oh, that's just what I was looking for. Thank you so much. Mm. In order for my ceremonial ceremony to work, I need to borrow the man of bats. If someone could take a photo of me and my new best friend here, that might inspire Batman to agree to my plan. Why don't you take the photo? You've done everything right so far. Let's go. Nice shot. I'm gonna post this with the hashtag just not into Gotham City, guys. Thanks again for all your hard work. Oh, and try not to lose your sticker gun again, okay? <laughs> We've done our best. We just had to hope it was enough for the queen. <laughs> of course, it all turned out okay in the end. Nothing left to do but celebrate in the traditional royal fashion. Hey, what's up? We're back. Sorry, I was uh, still rocking out there. Hey, we got ourselves a purple brick, and we have completed all of the main story-based bits for this particular area. So uh, the other areas had like 10 or 14 or 15, th th multiple variations of how many bricks you needed to complete those. Uh, this one only had five, so that was kind of a shorter one. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you go next. However, we chose to fly up top and get this one. So there's there's a brick all the way at the top of this giant, it looks like a wind sail. I tried to fly all the way up there. My game would not let me get high enough to grab it. So you're going to have to drop all the way down to that cloud where I disembarked my spaceship there. And I tried to jump off and land on it, but no such luck. I finally got the jet wings out, but missed my opportunity. So you definitely want to grab that brick, and as far as I know, the only way to get it is to jump up that sail and slide down the old zip line. Now that we're back down here, we're going to go ahead and jump into our spy ship. And again, there's other ships floating around here, like right around the edges of the bowl that we're in. There's a couple right there you can use. They are a lot larger, but if you don't have a flying vehicle, don't worry, there is some available. The first brick we're going to find is actually right outside, and it's down under, kind of hiding from us. This one is kind of cheeky, too. So both of these bricks are on the lower beam. I take a little ride looking for it because I thought to myself, there is no way that both of these bricks are going to be down there on those lower beams. So I go way up top, and I'm way up, and I'm thinking, gosh, it's got to be even higher than I am. And nope, there is nada up there. So back down we go. 
we'll push that elevator back down. And we'll go ahead and let's see here. Riding it all the way around these. And Booyaka Shout, just as promised, right on the other side. So number eight is officially ours. On to number nine. This one is up in the kind of the middle right side. I guess. Well, I guess it depends on which side you're looking at it from. But the middle upper ring. So we'll go ahead and make our way over to it and go up. There it is, hanging out in the window. Got a nice view there. We'll pick it up and remove that marker. Now, again, it doesn't matter which order you do these in, but if you follow our order, of course, those quick links will all match up, and it'll be easy to follow along with us and make sure that you've got all those bricks. Oh, there's one of those alien heart invaders. Those are so hard to resist, but now that we don't need... We've, we've completed the game. We've got all the items and elements we need, uh, so we're really not chasing those guys anymore now this one is kind of tricky i targeted a brick that's actually down below kind of in the uh, space station area of this rock and it's just tucked in right inside there so pretty easy find it's just a matter of figuring out that there's that lower level there targeting the next one this one is up top we actually pointed this one out a wee bit ago it's on top of the old spaceship if I remember correctly. Yep, right there on the back side. Booyaka show! All right, so next up, we've got another straggler just kind of hanging out here. This one is hiding under the other spaceship. So off to the side here, right behind the quest giver. We find one down in the little spot there where all the flamesies go. And last but not least, there is one more straggler here. But we're going to get to that one in a minute, actually. We're going to go ahead and do this quest over here because I tagged that one on mis by mistake. I was actually trying to target the one I was on, but this guy needs us to plant a flag, you know, uh, basically mark our territory. He gives us the old classic sp space flag and asks us to deploy it right up top. I'm not sure why it was difficult for him. He had the flag. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, oop, swing and a miss. Swing number two. All right, second time's the charm. And we get a brick, and we get to keep on keeping on right over to this guy here. He wants us to paint the shuttle, or the ship, on the back side there. He does not give us a specific color, so I don't think it matters. It just says a lick of paint should do. So I just went ahead and pulled out the old paint wand and uh, targeted the, the lower area. I actually shot it twice, and it made this weird sound, as you probably heard. The top one took a couple of extra pew-pews, but it made it nice and colorful, too. Once we get that all done, we get to collect our brick. And next up, we've got another quest right down below us. Now, I actually am pretty sure that I get down here and I and I actually untarget. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we don't do this race right now. I think we go. Yep, there we go. So we're going to go over and grab this brick. So I, I fooled you for a second. The reason I did that is because sometimes the races don't end where they start. And I didn't want to have this brick being all lonely by itself. I didn't want to forget about it. So we're going to go ahead and drop out. There's a Rex Quando planet. We'll go ahead and pull out our gloves and smash it on down. Carefully park our rig right on top and butt slam all the way through and destroy our... Now, there is a brick inside on the bottom. It wasn't like I got it for smashing through. It There was actually a brick right there where I'm standing. So now a little piece of advice for you. You should probably keep your gloves out and kind of smash your way out of here because you cannot fly your way out of a hole that doesn't have an exit. The game won't let you put one down. And it seems like every place I tried to put it, there was always some part of the vehicle that was being obstructed by the ground. So I pull out my danger fists, my Rex Quando gloves, and cha-cha-cha-cha, uh, a little uh, nice little landing zone here. I don't know if it really matters how much you need to do. You just need a nice open area. And, of course, pull out your builder page. This is where having your own flying vehicle will come in handy. You might have to uh, use your jet wing and maybe, like, the old uh, super jet wing pack, the unlimited, if you got that relic opened yet. I don't know. There's, there's There might not be a good way out of there if you don't have your own flying vehicle. Hopefully you have your own by now. So we got that brick. Now we just need to go back over and under where that race was Yep, there we go. We got the start here. We'll go ahead and talk to him. And as you might guess, this is going to be one of those easy peasy races. It's just a little time consuming. So we get a minute and 30 to do it. It gives us a bigger ship. I, I grabbed the big guy because I wasn't sure if there was a difference in speed. I have yet to determine if any of these are faster or slower. So I, I feel like they're all about the same. 
Now, this one was kind of tricky. It's under the stairway, so good thing I've got precision steering going here, and I can get up and out of there. I should say down and under there. All right, uh, so let's talk about this release of this game. You guys, I've had a few of you, you know, hit me up and tell me that, you, hey, did you know that that's out yet? Yes, and some of you are even like, hey, you said you were going to have early access. How come you didn't? Well, truth be told, Warner Brothers reached out to us, gave us a code, and we had access roughly a week before the, uh, the actual release date. Problem was is Sony had a hard time releasing or, I guess, approving the update that the game required in order to read the content. So I had the access to the content, but the game hadn't been updated to access it, if that makes any sense, which it doesn't. But uh, as it turns out, Sony had a hard time. Warner Brothers had a hard time. I was later notified and told that I would get the game when it comes out for everybody, which is what happened. And now I just am finally getting a chance to get to it. So we've had a lot going on around here with uh, preparing for our game break this month. We've also got uh, live streams happening every day on HTG and HTG TV, our mature channel. If you're looking for a link for that, just head up our channel page and it should be on the far right side if you don't already have that subscribed on your list. And all right, we are out of here. We're actually heading for a rainbow somewhere over the rainbow purple bricks. So we're diving over here. Sorry. All right, some of you, some of you love my singing. Some of you hate my singing. So I got to give a little bit sometimes. Uh, I've been trying to stay away from it for the most part, though. All right, we're back onto the Unikitty planet, the, the green area where we watered all those lovely plants. And uh, we're actually trying to find a way inside. There, there's actually a couple ways to get inside. Don't, oh, don't go down low. Should have warned you. And look, look where we ended up. Nowhere near where we just were. Like, what the what? So that's why having your own flying vehicle might be relatively handy. Because, uh, yeah, if you keep falling off, I don't know. I don't know where it'll do. I don't know what it'll do. It, it respawned us the last point that our feet had touched the ground. Right? That's kind of what it seemed like. Anyway, so, uh, yes, we, we got the entrance down low here. And if I remember correctly, this brick is actually tucked into a shipping container. Uh, kind of a funny angle on the back side over here. So we run through this nice little entry. Oh, wait, it's all open on the back side. There's also a quest there. But that green shipping container, something fishy about it. The door is open, and inside the back of it, we find that poiple brick. So look at that. We've got uh, 18 in the bag. We're working on 19, which, as you might have guessed, probably has something to do with this quest right here. Ooh, it's way too dark. So we got to light things up. we got to pump, 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 pump it up. we got to get out our generator and make it do some work. It's funny. We pull out a generator to run the generator. You, you, you guys see that? Is that a little ironic? Pretty drawings on the wall there. Looks like Gary's been hard at work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's clearly Nick's artwork. Oh, all right. So uh, we got another quest on the backside over here before we get on out of here. This guy's asking us to round up what the contents of the package have. What? Uh oh. Cats on the loose. Mew, mew. Cats on the loose. Mew, mew. All right. So there's three cats scattered around. We got to go ahead and grab them and put them in the green. Hey, wait a minute. What the heck? You see that? I dropped him in the circle, and he's he's taking off. I jump in. He immediately drops out. Like, I'm trying to... There we go. Sit, Ubu. Sit. Good kitty. Mew. Anybody remember that? I mean, I totally, totally modified that to work in my favor, but anybody remember that? That's some old school stuff right there. All right. Another cat is up top. We'll grab him. I should have turfed him from the top. I think I do, actually. Oh! Dropped him. That's what you call a fumble. And pick him back up, and I think I do the old, yep, the swooping drop. There you go. And last but not least, the other one's around the front side, kind of climbing around the main entrance to get into this place. Yep, there we go. All right, you, sir, come with me. We've got some business to attend to. Right meow. <laughs> All right, I know, I'm not punny. Uh, looks like all of them sweet. So we got that brick, and we are out of here. Next up, we've got ourselves. Nope, not a generator. Nope, nope. We're going to get a flying vehicle out. And I don't know why I keep spawning this big guy now. I, I, I like the big jets on the back. I feel like it's going to make me go faster. Although I'm having a heck of a time finding a place to lay it down. And I'm literally, like, spamming the button trying to get it to just pop up anywhere. I finally get one out, and uh, let's see here. Where are we going next? Ooh. 
Arr, let's hit for the pirate ship. Now, this particular brick is the one that I pointed out earlier that I mentioned that was down under on the ship. So, it kind of looks like it's outside because I marked it terribly. But I promise you, we're going to go ahead and park right by the old doorway there. Now, if you missed out on the earlier gameplay, you're going to need a micromanager to blast that door open. Once we go down the stairs, it's actually uh, down and around the corner over there, hiding. There we go. It's just sitting there waiting to be collected. Thank you very much. All right, next up, we've got a quest up on the top deck. Now, there's also a purple brick all the way at the very top of the mast. Well, it's not quite at the top, but it's up there quite a ways. We will grab that after we complete these two quests. Now, this first quest, you might have noticed that there's these weird kind of green glowing items. I wasn't sure what to do at first, but luckily the game lets us know we need some of those ground pounders. So we'll drop those by each of the three green barnacle parts here. Both Two of them are right by the, by the quest giver up top. One's right by the ledge. One's on the other side of the wall. And the last one is down under. So go ahead and make your way down under the belly of the ship. And smash it. Oh, there's a there's a chest down here. You might collect that. Just for old time's sake, I'm doing it. Actually, we're going to open up a handful of relics at the end of this video as well. Hey, I found out a nifty trick. There's actually a button that you can open up all your relics at once. Because there's that issue where the relics sometimes cause a glitch. And you, and you have to like quit the game and start it all over. And we all know how long that intro scene is. It takes forever to load this game up. Nobody wants to do that three or four or five or 20 times. If you guys caught our live stream, we had some issues with that. And luckily, one of our viewers pointed out that you can open them all at once. Speaking of opening, we're going to go ahead and open up the sails here using Metal Beard's head. You just got to simply attach it up top, spin around as indicated on screen. And uh, remember I told you there was a brick up high on the old mast? There it is right there. We'll go ahead and uh, collect our brick for completing this quest. Thank you very much. And we'll hop on our ship, which, is it still here? I can't remember. Nope, it is not. It has disappeared on us. I, I don't know why sometimes it stays and sometimes it doesn't. But we'll go ahead and drop a little ship this time because we don't have a lot of room. And we'll fly up and out of here. Now, you might notice we have 23 bricks. We're going to target the 24th. And I already gave you a clue as to where the 25th is. So once we collect this guy, we're going to go ahead and target the store and head on over and do some purchasing. That's right little bargain bin shopping real quick hopefully we'll get a deal on this brick so far all of the other bricks have been 50,000 studs which I don't know if that's a good deal or not if that's the case we are rich think about that we have so many bricks we have what, 450 total from the main game and now we've got 75 more available from the DLC and nope they robbed us 50k oh look at that we got a dancing star what else do we get we get a space rocket we also got, oh, we, what, what was his name? Mannequin, Super Mannequin, that's right. Dun, 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 dun. We also get Space Pirate. Nice little added to the collection there. And last but not least, speaking of friends, be off wind over on Facebook.com slash Happy Thumbs Gaming. It might benefit you as we do have a giveaway there every Friday. And we also have all sorts of breaking news and great information there. In fact, we've got a nice link about some Toy Story, some Lego Toy Story stuff. That's happening real soon. Uh, it appeared as though it was going to be an announcement for a Lego Toy Story game. But they kind of pulled it back a little bit. Now they've got sets. But it's still maybe in the works. There might be a Lego Toy Story game coming soon. And uh, hopefully that's the case. And if so, you know, that Facebook page would be a great place to make sure that you know when we know. You know? All right, so I'm uh, spamming relics like crazy. I'm hitting the old square button on the PlayStation, which opens them all at once. But you might be noticing, Brian, you keep having more relics after you open relics. Well, it turns out the game has a system where if you open up duplicates, it will give you bits or, I guess, multiple relics that you can reopen. So just keep on keeping on opening them until they're all gone. And look at that. They're all gone. We're all good. The Queen's Palace is officially secure, and we are out of here. 25 of 25, and oh, to the yeah. So, uh, yes, the DLC is all available now. We're going to be checking out Rex Celsior next, so be tuned for that. Be tuned. Stay tuned for that. As for this, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO Movie 2 video game, Queen's Palace Free Room. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. And, of course, always, always check that subscribe and notifications bell to make sure that you have everything set the way you want it. So, yeah, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time.